Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Just misses with that one. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. The Korean Superboy gets stung by that leg kick. Punch is blocked. Nice straight punch. with a right. Just over three minutes now to go. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Misses again with a right punch. Joy gets caught with that punch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Single collar tie now. Just misses there with the left. Powerful leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh wow, his leg kicks are already taking effect. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right punches there. Shot lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Straight right hand, no good. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Keep moving forward. 
kick to the body now. That one won't land. Great punch landed with so much power. And he lands the knee to the body now. Big leg kick land. His misses are in the Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Joy gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. 15 seconds to go. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Five minutes in the books. All right, man, listen, you got him. You really hurt him at the end of that round. He is still going to be hurt. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. And he connects there with a the punch. Oh. Just out of range with that strike. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch there. Oh, hit kick blocked though by Choi. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, collar tie. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Hands high, hands high. Nice defense there, huge block. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big head kick land. Choi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ooh, what a punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Just misses with the left hook. Well-placed kick there by Shaw. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And he landed the right hand there. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch, man, over the top. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing. Oh, and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. He has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from his position. Oh! That one was heavy. Oh, he might be out. Entertaining scrap so far. Take a seat. Listen, you're down on the scorecards. I need you to finish this fight this round. It has to happen. I need you to be All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Third round underway. Big punch lands through the middle. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Wow. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Choi's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice strike. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful body kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice one-two combination there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. He blocks the punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill. Oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, 
Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Boom! Big jab. Oh! That punch, no good. Counters with that inside left kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trying to double up on that jab. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never... He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chai. Right, nice job.